The Nuggets' Mike Miller is the only active NBA player and one of just five ever born in the state of South Dakota. It's not exactly a hotbed for hoops. In fact, as you'll see, during the season, there's nothing hot at all about it. And yet, in Sioux Falls, a city of just over 170,000 people, professional basketball has survived continuously for nearly three decades. Scott Howard Cooper traveled to the Great Plains to learn why one of the game's least glamorous outposts is also one of its most enduring. It's January in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Temperatures routinely drop into single digits, even lower with the wind chill factor. The nearest NBA city, Minneapolis, is some 250 miles away. It's here, of all places, that pro basketball is thriving. So much, in fact, that this is the 28th season in a row of Pro Hoops in Sioux Falls, and the Sky Force are one of the top draws in the D-League. I wouldn't say it's strange. I mean, they must be doing something right. <laughs> That's why I look at it. No city has a longer active run of minor league basketball than this town of 170,000 close to South Dakota's eastern borders. Through the bleak times of the organization nearly folding in 1993, when it was part of the old Continental Basketball Association, to winning the D-League championship last season, owner Greg Heineman knows the unforgiving winners of the state have tested the medal of the franchise as much as its unprepared new players. You know, living in Sioux Falls, South Dakota in the winter isn't any fun for those of us that have done it our whole life. So, I mean, we see some guys come in from, from Florida that come show up for practice at the beginning of the season. They don't even have a coat. They don't have no realization that they're gonna need it, but then they eventually do. It's nothing big here. It's not like not a crazy town. There's not a lot of distractions here. It's not a lot of things going on. Not missing anything. And I just tell them that I'm here to get better. And that's, a, that's exactly what this town is for. Assistant coaches Anthony Carter and Kasib Powell, former NBA players who understand what it takes to get to the next level, are here to help players like Briante Weber do just that. They have also been around long enough to appreciate the passion of Sioux Fall fans. I think that's a big difference. Sometimes you go play on the road and there's not a lot of people there and it's kind of like you got to bring your own energy. Here the energy is already brought from the tip off because the crowd is into the game. They bring in the energy as soon as they walk through the metal detectors, you can hear them screaming. So <laughs> it's definitely a big difference in playing here than playing in a lot of other places. Mark Ovenden has seen all the changes in the Sky Force history while covering the team since it started in 1989. But through it all, he's found Hardy fans will brave the winters to support their team. We've had blizzards on Christmas Day, and this place is still packed. They love their team. I think, I think Sioux Falls and South Dakota embraces this team as their own, regardless of who the players are on the team. Here, they're Sky Force players. This team may have been gone a long time ago if you had not stepped <clears throat> in. Do you think that you saved the team? Well, I think without question, when we took it over in 93, we did, it was, it was gonna move. And so we're happy to have done that. I think it was a really, really good thing to do for our community. The Sky Force now is part of the fabric of the city of Sioux Falls. I think we provide a lot of good community entertainment, a lot of good community support, and I think people would be, uh, as my little uh, grandson would say, they'd be crushed without the Sky Force. Mike Heineman, Greg's son, grew up watching the team and is now its president. The family business model keeps the Sky Force alive. We've always prided ourselves on being able to keep going. We've had times where we probably had no business continuing in, in, in this business just because the times were pretty bad. And, but then uh, we came out of that and joined the, you know, the NBA D-League and now we're with the Heat and things are just rolling in such a great direction. It's so fun to to see where we've been, to, to come to where we are now, it's, it's pretty amazing. The Sky Force became the Heat's direct affiliate with the start of the 2013-14 season, an arrangement both sides see as mutually beneficial. When the opportunity came from a hybrid, we said, well, let's try to see what we can do to make it work. And uh, everything's worked terrifically, I think. Uh, we have a little bit of a distance, which has some positives and negatives. Um, but there are more things that we really enjoy. I think when guys come here, the quality of what they got done when they're here is what the, it's about. It's about that time and development they have here. Sometimes when you may be a little confused because it's a culture shock or things may be different, they kind of embrace you and make it as like your second home. So I think they, the community really helps big time with the players and making that adjustment to playing here. 
we definitely understand how much we mean to this town. Uh, when you can see that, or you look out and they're smiling, and it's a blizzard outside. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something that we can we look at and we like, man, wow. It's all I've really ever known. My kids, my kids are growing up the same way I did. They're coming to all of our games and and doing the same things at games I did when you know back when I was coming to the games with my dad. Can you envision a time that there won't be pro basketball here? I can't. I can't. I think it's going to be here as long as there's going to be basketball.